Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's Daryl here. I'm actually out on a bike ride. Um, the reason I'm making a video here is, uh, I don't know how else to say this, I think I've actually had somewhat of an epiphany. The reason for this channel, a lot of it is to try, I've told you guys before, I honestly can say, I honestly do not understand how people could look at Donald Trump and support him and think that he's a good man. I, you know, even people in my family, I, I, I've known these people my entire life. They're good people. And for the light, you know, I just don't understand how they're so solidly behind what I see as an evil, lying person. And I, I don't understand it. And a lot of the point of this channel is to try to talk to other people that have the similar questions I do and to reach out to see if I, I, I could at least, not to, to make fun of other people or anything like that, but just to try to understand each other's position. One, why, why? Okay, so it all started this morning when I saw uh, Judgment Against Alex Jones, okay? I won't get too into that. Um, a court decided uh, the, the defin that, he, that he lost uh, a defamation case because what he talked about, about the people from right around here, uh, Newtown, Connecticut. I say Newtown because if I say the other town, uh, there's a lot of things I can't say on here. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. And, and Jones lost this case, and he, he's actually said that he's being crucified. And I've, like I said, it's hard for me not to talk about this. Like I said, I went to the funeral a couple weeks ago, and that was maybe not even five miles from Newtown. Um, you know, I know these people. It's outrageous, the stuff that Alex Jones says. And inevitably, when I talk about this, somebody in my comments will have to drop uh, just uh, one or two words. Like, uh, we'll say something. They'll, they'll say something in support of Alex Jones. Just something rotten, you know, just a couple words. Like, uh, the stuff that Alex Jones believes like hoax or crisis actors or something like that. And I thought about what makes, and watch, you'll do it today. What makes these people tick, you know? And I've told you guys before, you guys know I'm, I'm honest to a fault, you know? Um, I, I know what makes these people tick because I have been I don't want to say the S word. I, I've been a crummy person before myself. When I, when I first got into recovery, I remember going on, you know, people, people like this are, are, they do one of two things. They either try to hurt, cause pain in other people, or cause outrage and anger in other people. Uh, this with the Newtown thing, it, it's a uh, pain. And uh, other times, like, this is what I've done before. Like, I, I'll just... I'll, I'll try to make somebody angry or I used to do this, you know, like I said about I don't know when I first got into recovery when uh, maybe t 12 14 years ago, so I remember What made me do that that the you know, this is before I really started to Get more spiritual. I, I basically I believe in The law of attraction, you know what you put out you bring back and I, I believe that with all my heart um you know, before I really got into, you know, understanding that, I would do that. I, I would, I would try to just, you know, and it's easy to do on the internet too, because you know, you, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're not identifiable. The thing I didn't realize when I used to do that, though, is, you know, it comes back to you. It does, because when you say something like that, inevitably you will attract other people that are negative around you. They'll agree with you. They'll go, yeah, right on, you know, and then you start texting, you start communicating with these people, and before you know it, you have a circle of negativity. And, you know, and I, I truly believe this. So anyway, okay. So I thought about that. The people that put these comments out just to hurt other people are probably dealing with pain themselves. They want other people. The only way they can find comfort is to hurt, you know, is to have to, to have other people feel like they do. That makes them feel better. I think that's before you really learn to, to deal with these feelings. Uh, and then the people that want to enrage other people, like I used to do, are scared. 
are, are truly fearful themselves. And this being, brings me to Trump supporters. All right. So like I said, I talked in my last video. I said I sat down and I talked with Trump supporters yesterday. And I kind of, kind of kept giving them hard questions like, why? Why do you possibly support this, this man? And, uh, and I, I, I said... I said, I think what really scares you is you being a minority, and that hit a that hit that hit a, a, a nerve with them. And, and they, one of the ladies actually ended up saying she almost looked like she was going to tear up, and she's like, I don't want to be a minority, seriously, you know. And I knew I hit something there. And then, shortly after that, one of the other supporters said they like Donald Trump because other countries fear him. And it did, it just all clicked. Everything I've just said, you know, it's the same thing. I think people that support Donald Trump are fearful, are very fearful themselves. This is why I think they're mostly older people and they see, they see the people changing, you know, the diversity changing. And, and for one reason or another, it scares them. It scares them that they're going to be... Yeah. A minority I think generally I think this is people that have treated other people badly and now they believe they will be treated badly in return um, so they support Trump because other countries fear him so basically they know he's a bad they, they know he's a rotten guy they know he's a liar but it's almost like he's a flamethrower. I thought about that. A flamethrower is an ugly, evil weapon. But it does... what It protects you. It does what it has to do in a, in a terrible, hideous way. And that's almost what Trump is. A freaking flamethrower. You know? Except there's differences. You know? Like, I think they don't understand the narcissism of Trump. And how he, would, he will turn on people when... It's unleashing like Frankenstein's monster. I've used that comparison before. Um, I think once you put a person like this in power, there he has no allegiance to anybody. Um, take, for instance, all the people, when he first became president, they were all great, the best, of the bestest people in the world. You know, And how many of those people did he end up saying the worst things about and then firing? Almost like, I'd say 80% of them. 80, like I'd say 80% of the people that he initially first hired, he ended up hating and saying the most terrible things. Oh, that guy, that guy's, he's lousy, he, he's got no ratings, he lies, blah, blah. You know, and these are people that he, he was just saying glowing the best things about, you know, two months earlier. And that's what makes these people think that he's not going to do this. He wouldn't do the same thing to the American people or to certain groups uh, of the American public. You can't trust a man like that. It's unleashing a, a monster is what it is. So anyway, this was my line of thinking, you know, and a lot of it's got to do with the law of attraction. What comes around goes around, karma. Uh, and I think some people don't really haven't grasped onto that. And, and I think a lot of people are dealing with fear, uh, have just a deep-seated fear, and they don't know what else to do with it except try to make other people scared or they're angry and they try to make other people angry to try to find some consolation in their heart, try to make themselves feel better. Like, I, I, I truly believe that respect, respect is always better than fear. Uh, fear doesn't last, you know. If, if I'm scared of something, I'm going to try to overcome it eventually. Respect, as long as you're true to yourself, people will respect you. If they respect you today and you do you yourself, they'll respect you tomorrow and on and on and on. Respect lasts. Respect is permanent. Fear is not. Reasons why uh, Trump is a dead end road. Just some thoughts today. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll be back later with another video.